most famous physical therapist on the internet. Booyah! Booyah! Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We're going to talk about the five most common causes for shoulder pain. Plus, we're going to give you at least one exercise on each one of these to help you relieve it. Right. Right. So we always we always deliver, Brad. That's right. We like to give a little more. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain free. We upload every day. Join us also on our social media channels. We have lots of them because we're always giving away something. We just we decided we're going to be generous with other people's products, <laughs> and we're going to give away stuff. So especially on Facebook, we usually have pinned to the top of our page right. or down in our description below in you on YouTube. On the YouTube, yep. So, and we're on the Instagram as well that's nowadays. Right, the Insta, yep. Instagram crackers. <laughs> All right, Brad, take her away. <laughs> okay, so, whoa. These are, as far as shoulder pain that is not from trauma or an injury, uh, these are the five most common causes of that shoulder pain that comes on for sometimes no apparent reason. Other, other times, sometimes you have a pretty good idea what happened. Sure. Uh, so the first one is a tight posterior rotator cuff. So what does that mean, Bob? What does it mean? So we're talking about the rotator cuff muscles on the back side of the shoulder, and when they over over tighten they change the mechanics of how the the shoulder joint works and then therefore particularly when you work overhead the you, you, you can, can start, start to get getting, impingement and other sure. painful problems so it's kind of one of those things that a number of these five kind of roll into each other sometimes yeah there's four rotator cuff muscles and right you know a lot of them are all back here right <laughs> so yeah. you know those one's two. on top but three of them are basically in back well we don't want to get into the discussion too much sure. in that because what we're going to do about this particular one is it's a simple stretch this yeah, is the one that is oftentimes i've seen this one done in a lot of uh, fitness classes is you simply go across here and stretch. A lot of like baseball that. players and softball players, uh, especially pitchers, are doing this yep. one. Yeah, stretch uh, over. And there's a reason they're doing yep. it. And you can hold this one, or you can go pressure on, pressure off. You know, five to ten times. And the nice thing about all of these problems is you can do one side and then check the other arm and see if there's a difference on how they feel. And oftentimes, the one that's more painful is going to be. A little tighter, tighter, yeah. A little tighter or more painful. I'm a little tighter on my left. Well, I really. And that is my painful shoulder. See? There, there you go. go. Number two, bursitis. Now, bursitis is, just remember, a bursa, and itis means inflammation of a bursa. You have bursa sacs all over your body, typically by joints. Right. Your knees, your hips, your shoulders. So there's a... It's helping the tendons glide over that joint. Right, yeah, so right. right. I, over that bone, I should say. Just hold on there. Um, okay. I'm back. I don't know what happened to Sam, so we're going to go you with... You're doing uh, spontaneous. Napoleon Bonaparte Napoleon, is back. He's back. How are you doing, big guy? <laughs> yes, it's good to see you too. So if we look here where the shoulders, and this is going to be right below my white stripe on the on my shirt, there's a bursa sac right under the acromium in here, and when that bursa sac inflames and gets tender, and think of it as blowing up like a balloon, and it's getting all tight, really tender, a lot of nerve endings in the bursa sac, and so when this happens, a real common uh, symptoms, they're not a common, but a number of symptoms is kind of a global achiness sure. in the front of the shoulder. It kind of aches all the time, where in some shoulder, uh, problems typically they're irritated with only with movement only and oftentimes right. overhead this one is irritated with overhead but it oftentimes just aches while you're sitting there without movement so you gotta get that inflammation calmed down right so, so one thing that works nice is a cold pack sure there you go you're you gonna just, put that on bob yeah okay then there you go okay. now that's a bigger cold pack than what you would need but it's still you know it works fine and Put it on. I like to put them on in a recliner. You yep. can recline back and trap it back in and there. Just stay in, yep. in place. So. Yep. Read a book, watch TV, take a nap if you'd like. It actually um, feels good. Yeah, it does. It's wonderful. You can take NSAIDs, you know, ibuprofen at the appropriate amount. But always take it with food. Right. Um, yep, at least some milk, you know. Yep. Yep. I, that surprised me. When yeah, you my told pharmacist me that. says, you, you know, milk is a pretty good thing with ibuprofen. So I would say milk and crackers or, or whatever. And we're going to show you one stretch there you go. to try. Mm -hmm. um, this is with the buoy. 
Kuya stick or any, you know, basically, I guess, you know, you could use a wooden dowel or sure. maybe a broomstick even. Yep. But you're going to take it. So I'm stretching this one, this side here. So your left arm is a sore so one. I'm grabbing here. Where am I? There, there you go. go. And I bring it up over to the side of my head and I bring it back like this. So it's like a chicken wing. Right. So th this this helps open up that gap and it. We've, we've had some good success with this. That's why we're showing up. But you're only going to, if this really irritates it and makes it yes. worse, then it's not the right thing. No. It's too aggressive. Get the cold pack on, back on. Leave it settle down. What I'd like to see, Brad, actually, is you do a few sets of these, or just a few repetitions of this, I should say. Maybe three to five? Yeah, three to five. And then feel it. Does it feel better? Right. If it feels worse, no. This right. is not appropriate then. It's one it of those things that gives some immediate. It, it usually feels better right away. Right. I mean, there should be um, at least certainly not worse. Sure. That's for sure. Okay, next one, Brad. Hypermobile shoulder. That's those shoulders that uh, they come out of the socket actually yeah, quite you easily. Yeah, dislocate easy. Right. And, you know, people have dislocate easy. And oftentimes, they come back in easy. Uh, oftentimes, Pitchers or athletes who uh, have overhead repetitive motion uh, can, over a number of years, can actually... Stretch the ligaments yep. out and stuff. Yeah, it exactly. just doesn't become as tight. You know, so the thing with this is you've got to do exercises that are going to tighten up those rotator cuff muscles. I'm not going to give the whole... Uh, the whole scenario. There, yeah, the, the whole, whole exercise night. group of that. But I will uh, go with this and... Let me clean the area up. Yeah, oh, yeah, we've got a mess over here, Bob. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, we got... No, why are you Napoleon. here? Oh, sorry about that. We invited you. <laughs> so uh, we're going to, if you use the band like this, we got the wall anchor here that really works well. But this is probably the go-to most important exercise. Yeah, external rotation. Right. Um, yep. You're keeping the arm at a right angle. Yep. Sometimes we even put a towel underneath there. Well, of course, Bob. Just reach back in your, your cover with the, with the crooked with the crooked, with the crooked door, door and put that right there and that makes that really helps give you good butt mechanics so if that towel comes out your elbow went too far away from your body so keep that in in here and you're usually going to do three sets of ten of these and you'll feel this muscle get a little tired again that should not be painful it should just create fatigue now, this is one of those that you're not looking for immediate relief i mean no. th this takes time to build up the strength and, right i mean you're this could take Weeks or even months before you start right. seeing some. And, and I would recommend go to one of our videos on rotator cuff strengthening, and then you'll see the whole protocol of three or four exercises to put together. Brad, I'll bet you're going to need Napoleon on the next one. Well, yes, Bob, you are right. You're very <laughs> astute today, Bob. Yeah, it's the shape of the acromion, which, uh, Brad, what are you looking for? Well, I was looking for my pen. I usually have that red pen back there, but yeah. I don't know what happened to it. But that's how I use my finger. So we're looking at the acromium here. This bone right here you can see between my fingers. Now, some, this would be a real healthy bone here right. because it's smooth. But oftentimes, either with age or maybe just congenital or the person's you know, born genetic, uh, there becomes like little, it reminds me of icicles, you know, little sure. uh, edges that can come down and they can cause Look that, at that. That'll work out good. <laughs> Impingement. Yeah. Okay. So um, with those, or it could be sh the shape of it. it could be shaped like a hook. Right. I there mean, you yeah, go. Yeah. Exactly. There's yeah. different shapes that can ca cause a problem. My mind kind of got thrown off. Yeah, his shoulder that, came. He pulled his shoulder right off. <laughs> or, Sorry about that's that. That's one reason why we retired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we just come up with uh, the Statue of Liberty stretch right. or hanging, which we've had uh, some really good. A success with yeah so um you, you know do we have the hanging book is that yeah. over there well, i can show the the booyah stick here first while you're so one thing you're going to do is you can just grab onto a pole again or the booyah stick and you can just lean into it like this yeah. and really puts a stretch on that shoulder right um and, and you can do you, you know you can do again pressure on pressure off yep. or you can just go ahead and and hold it, which I, I do this every morning on my one shoulder. You do, yeah. Right. Well, right. I, I do it. I do a double stretch. I stretch my calf muscles, and I stretch this by putting on the step. Oh, sure. In front of me, and uh, well, no, it works. It's double. It's you know, I'm, I'm being efficient. <laughs> yeah, two for the price so. of one. Uh, so the the book we got the concepts for this is is 
from Dr. John M. Kirsch, uh, orthopedic surgeon, uh, worked on shoulders a uh, good part of his life, the way I understand it. But it's a really good book, and we've had some really good results yes. with this very simple exercise. Um, so you can also use a pull-up bar to hang right. out. Right. Yeah, we don't have our setup right now, yeah, but so yeah. So we do have this book in our favorite uh, books. Yeah, books below. B yep. Below, and uh, it's a wonderful. Take, take a look. See. Yep. Quick read. Okay, next one, and not last. But probably this is one of the most common ones, Bob. Sure. Tight pec muscles, which produce poor yeah, mechanics. Yeah, rounded out sho shoulder. And, and when your shoulders are rounded out, the mechanics of the shoulder just do not work properly. And it really increases a chance for impingement. If I'm rounded, I can reach up this high. If I'm in good position, good posture, easily yeah, can get up higher. Goes. And this, you know, this day and age of uh, us being on computers, um, it, it, you really need to do stretches like Brad is showing right now. Right. So you go to a door or a corner of a wall and just stretch here. And depending on where you put your forearms changes the stretch. So you're going to do it and you're going to hold it. You can either just go pressure on, pressure off, or you can hold 15 to 30 seconds and you'll feel these muscles right in here, the major, pec major and minor getting a stretch. It's going to help promote that posture and eliminate some of these problems. It's, it's one of those stretches you can actually do throughout the day. Right. I mean, you know, that's why every time you come to a doorway, go ahead and do a, a stretch. There you or go. Every time you come Unless to there's the a lot of people behind you, yeah, you're going to stop the flow of traffic. That's true. We don't want to be we don't want to be responsible for that. So. Right. Okay, so. so there you go. Those are the five most common uh, problems with shoulders, and and a and few one, little ideas on how to fix them. There we go. Thanks for watching. Be careful.